molecular orbital theory you are discussing with Lakshma Reddy sir here you see this is how the molecular orbitals are formed anti bonding and bonding this is called addition you can see this plus sign plus sign same sign when they are joining you can say that is addition and in addition when it is taking place that is bonding molecular orbital and when subtraction is taking place it is anti bonding molecular orbital okay here there you can see uh, some gap this gap is only called nodal plane so for bonding sigma 1s orbital there is no nodal plane but for anti bonding sigma star 1s there is one nodal plane remember these kind of questions are very common see this is this is plus this is minus when two places are mixing you can see this is bonding no nodal plane but you see this is plus this should be minus beta and this is plus and here you can see this is nodal plane and this is anti bonding molecular orbital and because this is because of p orbitals this is a p orbital this is a p orbital as we discussed by convention we take pz so pz pz mix so because of this you are getting their bonding as well as anti bonding molecular orbitals you can see this is pi bonds how the pi bonds are going to form plus and plus same set you are taking here and this is nodal plane so for pi bonding also there is nodal plane and pi for anti bonding there will be two nodal plane this is a nodal plane this is a nodal plane two nodal planes plus plus same sign bonding pi orbital plus minus anti bonding orbital okay then differences between sigma and pi molecular orbitals sigma molecular orbital pi molecular orbital formed by the end on end overlapping like sigma bond along the internuclear axis formed by the sideways overlapping okay perpendicular to the internuclear axis overlapped region is very large okay now like this overlap region is very small like this we discuss in pi bond same same point rotation about the internuclear axis is symmetrical rotation about the internuclear axis is unsymmetrical strong sigma bonds are formed weak pi bonds are favored okay then stability of molecules if you see if n b is the number of bonding electrons that is number of electrons occupying bonding orbitals and n a is number of electrons occupying anti anti bonding orbitals then the formula is very simple n b minus n a by 2 a positive bond order is n b is greater than n a that means if bonding electrons are more than anti bonding electrons positive bond order will come this is only always possible that means that is a stable molecule negative bond order is not possible okay it, it never happens zero it, it happens in such kind of cases the molecule is unstable or you say does not exist okay when it is zero it does not exist and negative bond order is impossible electronic configuration bond order simple diatomic molecules the electronic configuration and the bond order in case of simple diatomic molecules can be obtained by filling the molecular orbitals by applying of bow principle and hunt's rule etc that is Pauli's rule and all bond order is equals to half into number of bonding electrons minus number of anti bonding electrons all the shortcuts are there in our videos you can check this is just the theory i am showing you the relative stability of a molecule can be determined on the basis of bond order it is defined as the number of covalent bonds in a molecule it is equal to one half of the difference between the number of electrons in the bonding and anti bonding orbitals mathematically the expression can be given like this if the bond under is more bond energy is more so stability is more and bond length is less few examples bond order of n2 is 10 by 10 is bonding electrons 4 is anti bonding electrons by 2 so 6 by 2 is equals to 3 n2 plus 9 minus 4 by 2 that is 2.5 n2 plus 2 8 minus 4 that is 2.0 n2 minus 10 minus 5 n2 minus 2 10 minus 6 so you remember after 10 electrons whatever the extra electron is coming that will be anti bonding molecular orbital electron okay as the bond order increases the stability of molecule increases however 
some of the bond orders are identical in such cases a molecular ion with more number of electrons in the anti bonding orbital is less stable see n2 minus n2 plus n2 n2 plus 2 n2 minus 2 here you can see n2 is bond order 3 this is 2.5 okay and n2 minus is again 2.5 so now in this case n2 plus is more stable reason is very simple more number of bonding electrons here more number of anti bonding electrons are here the bond orders of 1 2 3 correspond to single double triple bond bond order may be fractional in some cases there you can expect some resonance nitrogen species bond dissociation based on the bond order you are saying n2 is bond order 3 so maximum n2 minus 2 bond order 2 so minimum bond length order exactly reverse magnetic nature this is the regular following rule mu is equal to under root of n and n plus 2 nothing is there to specially discuss the examples i will give you in another video okay